Hey, it's Alejandro Collini with another literary classic. In three minutes this week, I'm doing The Stranger. Okay, so there's this guy, his name is Merceau. That's a French name, I'm probably mispronouncing it. We're all just gonna have to deal. Merceau's mother dies, and he goes out to the funeral. It's very hot that day. The sun is in his eyes. He's sweating in the procession. He's a lot more aware of his physical discomfort than he is of the fact that his mother has died. So after the procession, Merceau and the cemetery caretaker are standing there having kind of an awkward vigil. And Merceau offers the caretaker a cigarette, and they stand there over the coffin having a cigarette, drink some coffee. Merceau goes home. The next day he goes to the beach, where he runs into a girl he knows named Marie. The two of them are flirting and fooling around, they end up becoming an item, and Marie quickly falls in love with Rousseau, but every time she asks if he loves her, he goes, well, it doesn't matter either way, but probably not. So one day Rousseau is hanging out with his neighbor Raymond, and Raymond launches off on this tirade against a woman who cheated on him. He says he's got this really fucked up plan to take revenge on the woman, and he asks Rousseau what he thinks of the plan, and Rousseau says it seems like a nice plan, because Rousseau apparently just doesn't give a shit. At the risk of being reductive, Rousseau seems to lack a crucial empathy or emotional involvement in the world that causes him to be so generally apathetic that a few days later, when Raymond beats this woman who he's angry at, Rousseau does nothing to stop it and even agrees to testify as a character witness on Raymond's behalf. And it is at this point that I wonder if maybe it wasn't such a great idea to attempt a comedic retelling of this bleak and miserable existentialist novel, but in any case, let's move on. So Raymond invites Marie and Rousseau out to a beach house. They arrive in the beach town and they realize they're being followed by a gang of men the narrator refers to as Arabs. I do not know how politically correct the narrator's use of the term Arabs is in this context, and so in order to avoid that can of worms, I'm going to call them dudes. They're being followed by a gang of dudes, and everyone goes down to the beach. They have a fight. Raymond is injured. Rousseau has to take his gun away so he doesn't do anything rash. Everyone splits up, and Rousseau somehow ends up alone back at the same place where they had to fight. One of the dudes is still there. And he stands up and he's got a knife glinting in the sun. Rousseau is blinded by the glint of the fucking knife. He's covered in sweat again. He doesn't even know what he's doing, but he raises his gun and he shoots this guy. The man falls to the ground and then Rousseau shoots him four more times, which is great. So Rousseau is arrested and at first he's kind of confused by how civilly everyone treats him. You know, he's killed a man, but no one seems angry at him. They understand that this is all just like part of the procedure. That all changes when the trial starts, and they ask Rousseau how he feels about killing this dude, and Rousseau says something like, I would rather he were not dead. Like, he refuses to express, like, remorse or any emotion, and that makes people angrier than his actual crime. Then the prosecutor starts bringing up witnesses and asking about his mother's death. The cemetery caretaker says he didn't seem that sad at the funeral, you know, they had some cigarettes and coffee. Then it comes out that he started dating Marie the day after her funeral, and everyone's fucking monocle falls in their drink. And at the end of the day, everyone is so horrified by Rousseau's creepy aura that they give him the death penalty, not even for his crime, just for being what he is. So Marceau is sitting there in his cell just waiting to die and keeps refusing to see the chaplain because he doesn't believe in God. And the chaplain comes in and tries one more time to force Marceau to be what everyone needs him to be. And Marceau this time just explodes. He tells the chaplain to fuck it off. He tells him that nothing matters, not his life, not anyone else's. Everything is meaningless. The chaplain leaves. And then suddenly Marceau feels at peace with dying. It's as if yelling at a holy man was the last thing he wanted to do before he died. So this has been a literary classic in three minutes. I'm Alejandro Gomez.